Welcome back, my dear friends. Okay, we're trying to pray here. Oh, pray to Barath. We need them pray to Barath. Even while your eyes are closed, we see a road that seems to search on forever. The stars wheel overhead in a clockwork rotation of constellations displaying over the horizon to your left, only to rise on your right. Try to make out details on the other side of the road, but your eyes can't seem to focus. One moment you think see a meadow blanket with a mist and another sheer canyon walls. Mm -hmm. For just an instant you see, uh, you even see waves slapping at the edges of the road. Where you... Where... What? Were you to step into the shifting landscape, you feel certain that you would only end up back on the road. You know this is a vision, but the packed dirt feels firm beneath your feet and the night air cool in your face. You're walking, your feet seem to carry a thought of your own accord. Something looms ahead of you. As you get closer, you see two two stone figures that look strangely familiar. Oh! Our old friends, life and death and death and love, we are in the realm of the twin god. And here are its two aspects. Remember the door to Klibben Relak and two other figures carved on the walls next to it. One looks vaguely, vaguely male and other vaguely female. Only a thin layer of flesh covers their scattered bodies to twist to face a doorway between them. The doorway, however, is not what you saw it in the ruins. It's a skull gaping and jawless. And you look at it, yeah, I got into the vault. Please? The road continues to the more to another shift in landscape surrounded by stars as you pass through it. You see an identical doorway at the distance, a dwarf man stands near it unmoving. You turn and look behind you, only to see a sky gate is just past facing you. An elven woman waits on the road, like a dwarf. Continue, approach the dwarf man. You continue down the road towards him. He looks up at your approach, but you can't tell if uh, if he's looking at you or through you. His face is smooth, but flaccid, as if the flesh is detached from the muscles underneath. There, as you look. On his face begins to change, wrinkles crack in the corner of his eyes, his mouth sinks, carving deep lines from north from to the corners of his lips. His jaw will sag and the loose flesh hangs like duff. He raised his cupped hands and co they are covered in blood. He lifts them to his face and smears himself from his newly created forehead to the Creased, sorry, not created. With his neck, as he matches the dark, stinky fluid in his skin, his fresh wrinkles disappear. The hanging falls to side. Yeah, stop it! He lifts his head, and this time you know it's looking at you. His renewed face looks like a mask, a filthy smooth and still. Behind his, his black eyes. A true hungry pits yawning like the empty ones of skulls. Mm hmm. Take his hand. You grab his hand, but his skin gives too easily under your grip as you try to pull away. You hear a noise like dried canvas searing. His skin splits, falling along the seam. Begins its armatures and length of his body. Blood gushes <coughs> forth in just quantities you can't imagine there was anything <laughs> else in a bar. Sure enough, his self empties of blood, he collapses like a distinct task. The blood in the past gleams. Thousand souls worth of essence, essence everywhere is trailing shining filaments into the night sky. I mean, now that it is dead, you can continue onward. The blood pool around your feet. The blood pools around your feet and you look up and see the elven woman waiting further down the road. Approach the elven woman. You start toward her. Toward her. There's something unnatural about the way she stands. She's too still. When you get closer, you see that her 
leg step into the slender trunk and its place of her feet are now twisting roots. Suddenly music. She lifts her face to an invisible sun, her long golden hair in the color of autumn leaves and you look more closely you realize that at her head it's actually covered with tendrils and vines sprouting brilliant yellow leaves. Each glimmers with the essence of an entire soul. She gives you a beatific smile and I have no idea what it means. As you look on, the leaves slowly fall from her head and settle on, the, on her roots. They melt into the paths beneath her and almost immediately new leaves sprout. Sprays and more. Hmm. Yes, the same man takes a hand. I would swine around your fingers and as you do, they grow rigid and cold. Her outstretched arm petrifies and rough stalled bark overtakes her flesh. She can only she can only look on in horror you break away from her brutal grasp. Her feet are rooted in place, but she twists and with as if as if trying to flee her own dying limb. The petrific petrification reaches her shoulder and spreads down her body, freezing in an painful arc. It creeps up her back and she throws her face skyward like a drowning swimmer. The grayness covers her face, freezing her gasp in stone. Now she's still and lifeless, you can continue past her. And the golden leaves on her head remain untouched, and as you watch, they fall, on, fall one by one on the path below. They shrivel as the shimmering essence fades from them. Mm -hmm. Her voice echoes along the road, barely more than a whisper on the breeze. It turns into the wheel. You lift your gaze and see the skull ahead, skull gate ahead of you in the past, the credit of the, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I have a lot of quests here, huh? Seems like they will do all of them. Pay to her. <coughs> Tomorrow, Master shocks his own whip. <laughs> Ooh, every time the same. <laughs> Ooh, hey, but he's what are you? Yeah, it went black. You're dead already, you don't just know it yet. Yes. <coughs> yeah, pray to something. You shut your eyes to pray. As you wait in the darkness, the world around you is changes. You feel sunlight, white and warm on your face. A light breeze carries music to your ears. Oh, nice. As vivid as this sensation feel you, someone knows it's not real. It's no shit. You look around, you feel yourself standing in open air temple by the mountain summit. It's just elves, all in the shadows, all the kith. Winging the entire scene as a freeze. Fringe of trees, blah, blah blah blah. Everyone is singularly absorbed in a particular pursuit, and always sits with the cameras, a paintbrush in his hand, and jars of green music, blue and yellow pigments on his feet, and all of an armor standing on the side of look and conservation, the expression dancing with delight. To the other scribbled stanzas of poetry, of crude sketches on sheaves of paper, losing themselves in delicate uh, artwork and such. Look at this place, all these people coming together to share their creations and color fronts. What on earth is this painting supposed to be? There is a group gathered in the middle of the temple. They sing in large a harmony of several complimentary melodies. Uh -huh. Cacophony. Others drift towards the singers in one and two as they buffeted by a guest wind in the place of song. I pass through the trees. Think it's the wind by the ship and changes to screeching hundreds of birds taking the skies as a projection away. <coughs> the devotes glance through the tea is partly distracted from the activities, but the wind picks up the poetry. The art and ribbon songs from the lips, they look skyward and you follow the gaze. A dark shape blots out the sun, you can tell what it is, but before it expands, it seems to 
fills the sky, the wind draws in the summit. Mm -hmm. We can free a shadow falls over the temple, it begins to as a stain in the corner and spreads blotting out the flex bones. It reaches near Skith, a black furred orlan. The darkness swallows her, leaving only a puff of smoke. Ah, oh, this is nice. To elves, as we saw earlier, men and women flee. You get a brief image of them huddling in the shadow of a mountain. They seem to see you too, and they reach out, calling silently after you. The others, however, seem frozen as the shadow advances as they like with vanish one by one, living yeah, not nice. Restore my temple, she says. I will do this at some point. Uh, are you? Pay to Galavine. Tomorrow, Master's Chucks is on whip. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Seriously, wolves? Now, oh, come on. You're at the end. Stop it! That's better. Go already! Bam! In your face. Oh, he's dying. Can't you just go around? You Douchebag. That would be nice. Yes. You have sunbeam, bitch. Shut up. That can help me, guys. The other ones were easier. Thanks. Are you okay now? Good. I can go pray. As <coughs> so in front of the shrine, you feel yourself push forward. You catch yourself on your hands and knees, feeling warm, gentle. Mm -hmm. It's clear in the middle of the woods. Some of the dirt hangs heavily in the air. And it's dark and room filled with camp lit shrines. Let you hurl off some kind of hound. You can feel it's in a vision. Mm -hmm. Hold back. Space in response, its voice high and clear. The thick undergrowth shivers with movement, and heavy paws along the wet grass. You're not certain if the creature is hunting or leading you, but you instantly give chase. Mm -hmm. As you tumble through the dew spectral bushes and clawing brambles, each stride longer than the last. You draw lungfuls of crisp, clear air and feel your energy renewed. The rhythm of your stride and thumping. The beast's paws have the blood thrumming in his ears. Okay, you speed ahead, following the hound's cries. When you, when a split finger pine crushes on the ground in front of you, a massive bear lungs into the gap and roars. You catch a sight of you, you turn and race in the opposite direction, leaping over the fallen tree trunk. Pine cones crunch underfoot, the bear lumps after you. It's hot, it's it's. Not with an apostrophe, it will be, it is. It's hot breath washes over your back as you, of your neck, filling your nose with a rank odor of slaughter. Hmm. Nice. I see a clearing just past a thicket of broad leaves and sprint towards it. Yeah. Another step of Ulodach. Hmm. As you break through the foliage, you see. A massive lion nest curled up into the clearing in front of you. As the last burst of energy you divert your momentum and hurl yourself into the bushes. Then a second only you expect to feel a bear fall upon you, but you feel it's raw on the other side of the clearing draws your attention. The bear stopped at the tree line, it swipes 
The empty air with clothes large enough to rent armor, but it does not advance. Lioness, for her part, twists her body into a tight coil. She grows her ears pressed against the head, but she makes no move to attack an intruder. Incredible. <laughs> if you ever seen beasts so large, I'd like to carry it. Well, uh, yeah, um, sure, you're fine, buddy. You back deep into the f foliage, foliage, keeping your eyes on two mighty predators. As you crawl backwards, the heel of your hands brushes something furred. A warm sight grazes your cheek. You freeze in place, slowly turning your head to see what's behind you. Two amber eyes shine in the darkness. Bless <laughs> you not. Take our chance with the beer now. <coughs> the eyes meet your gaze briefly, then turning to the stand of in the clearing. The hound behind you yawns, fangs flashing. Okay, well, here's something. Uh, just the background stuff here, I guess. When you turn back, the lion and the bear have disappeared in the place. It's stone wolf small captain why not to swallow your whole gun it's the outline of the temple torn your decent yeah okay another quest let's do this shit i want to pray to my god wimpy gods here I can level up. <coughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. Can't improve stealth. And let's not do it. The pros adapt evasion. Hmm. This is nice. I will do this. So, a lot of quests open now. A lot of quests. Yes, already. Hmm. Earn divine favor. So this first. Mm. Let's go here first. And have a look. Did you hear that? About our awakenings being permanent? Mm-hmm. I heard it. Hi, who are you? Gold Groove Trailer. Mm -hmm. Who needs your order? Uh, blah blah blah, okay. To go. A servant of death! Mm, okay. Can they just not talk to me, the stupid gods? Let's go to this district. Oh. Check it out. Oh, level up. 
Mechanics. Ah, oh, it's better. Break well. Hmm, break shot. Just interesting. <laughs> One stands alone. Hmm. Set of here. Nope. Give it to AoE. Anyway, AoE, deep after this. I'll see you guys next time. Of course, I love you all. Bye bye.